Thanks to digital devices such as smartphones, we can now do many activities in our lives faster. Pivotal questions here are, does digitalization therefore accelerate our pace of life? And if so, does that lead to a more satisfactory life or to more stress? This and other questions are the focus of the research group Digitalization and Sustainability. We are a team of young scientists who critically analyze digitalization from the perspective of different disciplines. We investigate the potentials, but also the risks of digital technologies for the urgently needed sustainability transformation of the economy and society. With our research, we look for ways to shape digitalization in the interest of the common good. Now back to the first question of how digitalization affects our use and perception of time. As digital devices and apps help us save time in many areas of life, we could theoretically have more peace and quiet. But it's just as plausible that we could feel busier and more stressed. So, does digitalization contribute to accelerating or to decelerating the pace of life? And how does using digital devices affect our feelings of time stress? For many decades, the social sciences have been discussing whether modern societies constantly tend to accelerate the pace of life. Well-known acceleration theories describe four strategies that could be causing this trend. First, people try to do things faster. Second, they multitask. Third, they replace time-consuming activities with time-saving activities. And fourth, they fill breaks and waiting times with other activities. We conducted the first representative survey that determines whether there is actually a connection between using digital technologies and these four acceleration strategies. What did we find out? Indeed, people who use digital devices and apps more frequently and intensively also have more appointments in what would be free time and they feel more time stressed. And it's the four acceleration strategies that are causing this feeling. People who live more digitally are actually doing more multitasking, doing things faster and filling breaks with activities, especially on their smartphones. Our data were also able to confirm so-called time rebound effects. The supposedly gained time that people have saved by using efficient digital technologies is being filled with more and more activities. Whoever uses digital technology to be more time efficient will, in the end, have more things to do. Perhaps that will also make him or her more productive, but it will always make life faster and more stressful. For our research also shows a correlation between using digital applications and feelings of time stress. The more people are digitalized in their everyday lives, the more they report feeling rushed and not having enough time for things they consider important. To sum up, we can state that the way people use digital technologies in terms of how they use time has multiple consequences for society and for the environment. The problem is that digital technologies often promise to buy us more time. But we're ignoring the fact that precisely the time-saving nature of digital tools increases the pace of life, leads to more time stress, and also requires energy and resources for an ever faster life in society. Therefore, achieving a sense of having enough time and leading a fulfilled life require a conscious and critical use of digital technologies. More about our exciting research results at sustainabledigitalization.org, where all our publications can be found. It also hosts lots of other videos as well as lectures and links to our publications on various aspects of digitalization and sustainability. Mm -hmm.